Hi, my name is Tim, Technical Support and Installation Engineer at ATRsoft. In today's webinar, we will have a look at an ATR solution case study, Bidirectional Link Excel Report. With me today, I have Francois Simon, who will answer your questions. Use the chat box on the GoToWebinar panel. I will make room after this session for more questions to let you follow the presentation better. We expect this webinar to take somewhere in the range of 15 minutes. The webinar will be recorded and made available online later on. Okay, let's get started. With our tool you are able to manage custom properties from Excel. It allows non-CAT users to add or modify properties specified by the Excel export rule in custom tools. From within SolidWorks we run a bill of material export to Excel. Then we can edit the Excel file anywhere and add or update the needed properties. When done, we re-import the properties and update SolidWorks properties and optionally the drawings as well. Let's have a look in SolidWorks. I am going to search for my conveyor and I will filter on document type assembly and there it is. So I will open that in SolidWorks. Okay, I will run the export on the entire assembly just to validate that everything is okay. And actually it's not. I'm missing item numbers for a complete sub-assembly. So I will work on that one instead. I'm going to go to File Operation, Open File in SolidWorks, and then run the export again. Okay, a few words about the interface that we are looking at. We have some column headers with curly brackets and these are the ones that we can update from Excel. The regular ones is actually locked in Excel and I will show you that uh, after the export has completed. So I'm going to export this. And close. SolidWorks. Okay, so here is my Excel file and I can add myself as the designer and to use Excel functionality to populate these cells. I'll also add a random item number and again use the Excel functionality to populate these ones. The good thing is that I can see that the finish is missing a value in this cell. From the looks of it, because I have the preview, I could tell that these two might be cutting items, so I will add cutting here. And if I were to change any cell that has no curly brackets, I will actually be warned. This is a protected sheet, so I'm not able to do that. Then I'm going to run the import. Now I have three options. Do you want to update the drawings is the question. If I select yes, I will open the drawings and, and update the file properties if they are used in the drawing title block for instance. If I select no, I will not update the drawings. But both of these will import all of these new properties into our SQL database. I could also cancel this one and then run the import tool manually in SolidWorks later on. But I'm going to run the import but not update the drawing, so I will select no. The import tool is launched and in the background we are launching SolidWorks to do the import. When completed I can close the import and I can actually close the Excel file and there is a, a little trick that I want to share with you. If I select not to save this one I can always use my Excel file as an undo functionality so I will not save that. I will now start SolidWorks again <coughs> and I will reopen my assembly. So 
So there it is. If I run the export now, everything should be fine. And it is. So from this point on, I can actually go and, and run an export to an ERP system, for instance. But I will not do that right now. If I close everything now and find my Excel file. Hang on. All the edits that I made is is lost because I did not save this one. So now I can run the import one more time and select cancel. So now I have actually updated all the file properties again, but I didn't bring them into my SQL database. So if I close Excel and find my assembly. I can select to open this sub-assembly to make it more clear. If I now run the export, all of these all of these items that I added have been removed. But they are not in the custom tools database yet. So to bring them into my database I can run the import tool from within SolidWorks. Just add the active document, run the import, and close. So that basically is what we can do with this export import tool that we have created. So let me go back to the presentation. There it is. What are the main benefits? Well, the solution makes data entry and even validation more easy and fast. You are able to add non-CAD data to files like price, order status, or any other data string you wish to have in your files. The clear benefit is that you can use Excel functionality to populate the cell values. The script is supported in Custom Tools 2015 SP2, which will be released during May. It's a separate script that in and it's very lightweight. For more information, please contact info at customtools.info. Thank you for attending this webinar and I hope to see all of you for the next one scheduled at June 11th at the same time as today. We will have a look at what's new in Custom Tools 2015 SP2. Thank you, have a nice day.